I'm going to demonstrate now how to make turquoise. So, beginning with a light blue solid color clay, and here's another little rectangle I mixed up. It's just kind of a uh, marbleized black and turquoise, but it hasn't been blended that much, so all of the colors are separate, although they're mixed. And just add the two pieces together, so there are sections that are kind of marbleized and sections that aren't. And we're going to do just a, a simple little twist. And then I like to form it into a rectangle because it's easier to put together. And the first step is to take a, this is a razor blade that I put a little safety polymer clay on one side and you're just going to slice off sections maybe about one eighth of an inch and you're going to lay them next to one another randomly okay and here's a little piece I did earlier now once you have them side by side, what you're going to do is run that piece through the pasta machine. And as you can see, there are big spots of pure blue, and then there's a sort of marbling that goes through it. But this more easily mimics the look of true turquoise. And here is the turquoise up close, you can see. Now, in just demonstrating how to make some beads from the turquoise, you just create another rectangle and slice up a bead. You're going to put a toothpick through it to make sure that you have enough room to thread it. And then I like to depress the areas that, are, that have the most black in it to give it a little bit of dimension. And then you can sort of round the edges to take away. You still want it to look rectangle, but not so sharp on the edges. And once you spray this with a satin finish acrylic spray it'll take on the look of real turquoise and here is the turquoise up close you can see now in just demonstrating how to make some beads from the turquoise you just create another rectangle and slice up a bead. You're going to put a toothpick through it to make sure that you have enough room to thread it. And then I like to depress the areas that are that have the most black in it to give it a little bit of dimension. And then you can sort of round the edges to take away. You still want it to look rectangle but not so sharp on the edges and once you spray this with a satin finish acrylic spray it'll take on the look of real turquoise 